The Fallout show has been generating a lot of buzz lately. Some people love it while others don't. Hi folks, it's me Snake. Consider subscribing to the channel for related content. Adapting video games to film or TV has always been a challenging task. There have been very few successful adaptations, but there have been a lot of disappointments. Despite the challenges, there's a growing trend of bringing popular gaming franchises to screens big and small. While this opens up exciting possibilities for translating beloved stories, it also presents Hollywood with the risk of mishandling cherished IPs. Take Fallout, for example, an iconic post-apocalyptic RPG spanning nearly a dozen titles since the 90s. Its dedicated fan base makes it clear that any adaptations would be under intense scrutiny. So, when Amazon took on the challenge, it was a gamble. The series was led by Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy, known for Westworld, and expectations were high, albeit cautions given their mixed track records. Thankfully, more or less, the gamble paid off. The Fallout show turned out to be surprisingly solid adaptation spanning eight episodes. It introduces a trio of compelling main characters, each played by capable actors whose journey are engaging to follow. While not flawless, the series manages to capture the essence of Fallout's rich and intricate universe. Set roughly 200 years after a nuclear apocalypse, the story follows Lucy, a vault dweller from Vault 33, who embarks on a perilous journey to rescue her father from raiders on the surface. Along the way, she encounters a diverse cast of characters including a goal, a former Hollywood actor turned bounty hunter, and Maximus, a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Together. They unravel a mystery involving a research scientist and a world-altering substance. While the overarching plot may seem straightforward, akin to the quest in games, it is the smallest narratives, quirky characters and environmental storytelling that truly shine. The series effectively captures the retro-futuristic aesthetic, dark humor and satirical undertones of the Fallout universe. Thanks in part to Welton Goggins, standout performance as the goal. However, the series may be daunting for non-gamers due to its dense world-building and numerous references. Additionally, some visual inconsistencies and budgetary limitations are noticeable. Nevertheless, the Fallout show manages to strike a balance between grim survival and dark comedy, offering an enjoyable experience for the fans and newcomers alike. In conclusion, the Fallout show may not reach the dramatic heights of The Last of Us, but it delivers an entertaining and faithful adaptation that stays true to the spirit of the games. Whether you are a diehard fan or approaching it with an open mind, there is plenty to enjoy in this post-apocalyptic adventure. So, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!